Hey y'all, it's Bear. Hey, it's July the 3rd, Tuesday. It's time for some canteen cup cooking. But we're going to honor July 4th. And we're going to do an 18th century rice pudding. Something the uh, folks might have celebrated with after winning the Revolutionary War. We're going to do a simple poor man's version. I'm going to do it two ways. I'm going to do it just like the recipe from the 1700s says. Now I'm going to do a slightly modified version for backpacking. So I'm going to do a reflectix oven over here for the 18th century, build my fire right here, and I'm going to build a little backpacker oven over here and put a GSI cup in it. Hey, do y'all remember the reflectix ovens from Easter? Look here at home, I slit the pan in half, okay? This is a half pan. For your, if you're cha doing the chafing trays, this is the half pan size, okay? And if you remember, let's see, let me decide which way I want to do this. Look at my cuts here. If you remember, I took, I bent in kind of a 90. Right, we bent my pan in on 90. Give these tabs here a little bend to hold it. Right. All right, now I got this recipe off Townsend's channel, and uh, they sell uh, equipment for doing reenactments, uh, 18th century, 17th century, and they have a lot of cooking videos from that time period also. Um, and this cookbook that this came from is available for sale from them. It's American Cookery by Amelia Simmons, published in 1796. Now, the poor man's rice pudding is rice, milk, salt, butter, allspice, and sugar. Now I've broken down the measurements for the Arctic tank canteen cup. So I need a cup of milk, eight ounces. It's half of this. Two ounces. or four tablespoons of rice. Three tablespoons of sugar.
Now for the salt, butter, and allspice, they don't give us a recipe, a uh, measurement. So, you know, again, I guess according to how much money you do or don't have, you can season as you will. I'm gonna use, oh, I don't know, about that much salt. Now, allspice, I guess, was the less expensive uh, seasoning to use. Uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, and mace are options for the more up-to-do uh, rice pudding. And I've got, I don't know, about a tablespoon or so of butter here. That's it. Now, it's a little tough to tote to around whole fresh milk backpack. I decided to do a backpacker's version too. Now we've got this shelf stable almond milk, vanilla flavored almond milk. This is already in a eight ounce portion. This to shake well. All right, where was I? We got eight ounces of the almond milk, vanilla flavored. Now I thought dark brown sugar. might marry well with that vanilla. You carry something as heavy as sugar, might as well make it some nice dark brown sugar, right? Same four tablespoons of rice, two ounces. And that's ounces as in volume, okay, not weight. And again, I don't know, about that much salt. Nice little hit of allspice. And then it says to put it cold into a hot oven. Now, I don't know what a hot oven is. Um, their recipe is like four times this amount of everything I just did. And they say to cook it, I think, for an hour and a half. So we're just gonna put it in there and see what happens. I'll make this nice little aluminum foil snake to set in there. And that'll get my a little wind break. All right, let's try it again. Townsend's uh, website, I'm going to put a link below to the cookbook where you can get these recipes. And I'll put a link below to his um, video for making the poor man's rice pudding. He also has one for the well-to-do pudding. And it substitutes out raisin Raisins for the uh, sugar uses cinnamon and nutmeg, which would be expensive spices of the time. And it also uses a puff paste 
pie crust and you actually make a, pay, a uh, pie. Um, instead of just plain rice, he uses a ground rice. Um, it was almost, uh, the rice he used was almost like a grit-like consistency. I have to say, I've been surprised at just how much fire it takes to do this. You know, this is just another one of my experiments, and y'all are just kind of learning along with me. Now, I will say this is not a project for the pain of heart. If you want something to piddle with at camp, though, this is pretty cool. But it takes a while. It takes a lot of work to keep the fire stoked up hot enough to keep everything nice and hot. I've actually got my little backpacker oven back there in around 450 degrees and uh, maintaining the reflectix oven around 350, 3 to 350. So I think I've also damaged my little uh, GSI cup, a little knockoff. It's not really a GSI cup, just the one the uh, Wally World sells. And uh, I went to move it around and the handle just fell right off. So we'll see how the Arctic Canteen cup holds up. That handle's like right in the fire. I might should have left it folded over and set it down in the in the oven. That would probably been better. Now I have to say the Reflectix oven was a real success. A little bit of a learning curve. And my little backpacker setup, it worked just fine too. I've got two good rice puddings to try here. Um, for my 18th century rice pudding, I've got some enamelware. I don't have a tin spoon though, I've got titanium. And I'm gonna roll with some backpacker goodies for my backpacker edition. And uh, yeah, it's all fun and games till uh, Someone loses their drink. I keep my Hawaiian punch cold. I was able to put my handle back on. It just popped off. Guess we ought to bring you down so you can see what we ended up with, huh? Is your 18th century. And my mild ingredient changes for something I can do backpacking. Now, I will say, there's going to be some real cleanup involved here. So maybe if I was backpacking, I'd bring enough foil to line my cup with. Alright, let's see what we got. Yeah, it's good. It's sweet. It's really sweet. Wow. The vanilla and the brown sugar really change it. You know, if this is what you could afford, this right here is a fine celebration. These couple of simple changes I made for doing this backpacker version, it's amazing how different this is.
it almost has a bit of a coconut flavor to it. A little mapley with the brown sugar and the vanilla. Almost a little like, it's like French toast. It's really rich too. I think this one's a little more rich than this one, or this one. A backpacker version. It's a little bit richer than what this one was. And this was more just bold sweet. But this is really sweet too. Just in a different way. Well, I might have to save some to take home to Gummy Bear and let her try them. Y'all don't forget to pack out your trash, okay? <laughs>